I'm Peter with the F5 security team. F5 Labs 2018 phishing and fraud report explains how attackers use malicious payloads to trick users and evade detection techniques. So let's light up how that can happen. So say an employee gets a phishing email. Now often in that email, it could be an attachment, a PDF, but often there's a link. So they happen to click the link. And when they click that link, it goes to a fake but real looking website. Now, why does it look real? Well, they probably scaped, scraped the original to impersonate it. They got all the logos, the colors. And even on top of that, F5 Labs found that 93% of these fake phishing sites have gotten SSL certificates. So the criminals have gone through the trouble to make sure that HTTPS appears in the browser window. So the user thinks, oh, this must be the real thing. Now, when they get to this fake phishing site, often these phishing sites are around to capture credentials, of course, but they also can deliver malware. So now it goes and delivers the malware to the individual's device. And so this is an encrypted connection and when the malware gets delivered back, it's also encrypted, it's hidden. So it's now sitting on the individual's device and at some point, this encrypted file will then go out and hit the command and control server. So when it gets called from its botnet friends over to the command and control server, F5 Labs found that 68% of the command and control servers also have certificates. And so this connection is encrypted. These files can live on the system for months, even years. And so this right here, these encrypted connections are why it's critically important to decrypt your traffic, both inbound and outbound and inspect what's going on. If you'd like to learn more about the 2018 Phishing and Fraud Report or any of F5 Labs research, please visit f5labs.com.